Today we're going to dive deep into the AppSheet Admin Console. Hello, I'm Rich Ellis and I'm the Global AppSheet Customer Engineering Lead at Google. The AppSheet Admin Console consolidates several admin functions into a single location and ties it all together. It features a useful overview to show you the most popular apps, account information so you can understand how many accounts exist in your organization. You could drill into the app data and understand the usage of those applications, understand your current license utilization, and easily see what licenses you've purchased versus what you've used. And then there's also policy management. So when you log into AppSheet, you'll find the admin console right under your account. Click your account icon, and then you'll see the admin console as one of the options in the drop down menu. When you open the admin console, you're greeted with the overview section. You can see the current app users, the number of accounts, the app owners, teams, total number of apps, and any policies that have been set. You can see at a quick glance the most popular apps and the most apps that a creator has created. Lastly, there's a section for a license overview that shows you what your organization has purchased and what they have consumed. In any of these sections, you can drill down and get additional details. You could either click on the overview link and dive into each of these sections. For example, if I click the app users view, then I'll be taken to the app usage section of the application. So these are all just quick links to what we're going to be covering. So our overview section gives us a macro understanding of the app sheet activity inside of the organization. But if I go to the account section, I could understand at a more granular level, the number of accounts that currently exist. And in this view, I can understand which of those accounts are actually app owners versus the total number of accounts and what accounts are currently active in the last 30 days. The account details shows the user's email address, their authentication provider, the team that they're associated with, the app role, which basically shows whether they're the owner or the user of the application, the total number of apps owned by that user, and then the total number of apps that that user uses, and when they're last active. Here you can elevate privileges for any user in this list. So let's say I want to make an additional user the org admin. I can go ahead and change them to org admin simply by choosing org admin. By clicking the overflow here, you can export all this data to a CSV for analysis. You can easily search this list as by typing in any particular email. So let's say I wanted to search for cloud free. I could just type in cloud and we'll quickly get the results and have this list filtered appropriately. In addition to the general search, I also have a structured search that is available where I could search by any of the fields that you see in this table. So let's say we want to understand particular individual is using inside of the AppSheet platform. We could click on that user and understand what apps they've built versus what apps they've used. And we have those levels of detail available at our fingertip. We could also easily transfer ownership of applications to other individuals from this view. So if somebody leaves an organization, we can target specific applications or all applications to transfer to another individual. From this page, I'm also able to create additional teams by clicking this overflow icon. In addition to export CSV, you'll see that there is a create a team option as well. This will take you to the page to choose an authentication domain group that will define your team membership. You would create teams so each team can have their own admins where they can manage their own user base and also define policies at a team level. If I am a team manager, I could also set users for my team as an admin. Next, we're gonna cover the app usage section. Here we could see the total number of users in my organization to include how many internal versus how many external users are outside the organization. Also, 
we're showing the number of active apps, whether they're internal apps or they're external apps. And once again, you have a table where you can search by username and search for the particular apps that a particular user has. Just like with the previous view, we have a search option where you can easily just type in the email address that you're looking to understand the current usage of, and the list will auto filter and show any related apps for that particular individual. If you click on the app name, you'll notice that you're taken into the actual app details, the single app details to include high level status for that app and any users for that application to include the ability to understand the sharing status. So you have complete transparency from the organization level down to the individual app level. You can even go a step further and view that app in the app editor. Another useful feature of the app usage section here is the ability to easily create filters for the last use date, which can help you understand what apps are currently being used versus the apps that have been abandoned and are no longer used. So let's say I want to understand my current active applications. And maybe I want to define an active application as something used within the last two months. So I can easily choose a start date. Let's call it August, set that value. And now I have a list of usage that can be filtered down to the individual applications. Now the result here is a list of users that have last accessed any particular application. So I have a list of active applications that I then can compare to my full list of applications and determine what apps uh, may need to be removed or deprecated. So moving on from the app usage section, if we go to the app section, we'll notice that the difference between the app usage section and the app section is that the app section only shows the applications. And whereas the app usage section is focused on the actual users using applications, the app section focuses more on the app itself. So here you can see all of your apps and then the total number of users for that application. But more importantly, what license is required for each of those apps. And then you could also sort by last modified to understand how old apps are and if there's any recent activity by the creator. With any of these apps, you can click onto the app and understand the current usage. So this view can help you understand apps that have been abandoned and have no usage so you can safely remove those applications if they're no longer required. And then just like with the other app usage tab, you can always jump over to view the app details or understand the app usage details and the app owner's usage of AppSheet. Next, we'll get into the licensing section. So just like on the overview, we see at a high level what licenses have been purchased, which ones we have been assigned, and then which ones have been currently used. And then down below, we could understand at a, a granular level what license is being consumed by a particular individual. So we have key columns here where we have the user, whether that license is internal to the organization or if they're coming from an external source, their team, their role, whether they own apps versus whether they're just a user of applications. And then we break that down into apps owned versus apps used, and then show you what licenses have been assigned from the Workspace Admin Console, and what license was actually consumed. And then you could also see when the last app usage was up until the last 30 days. At the top, you can easily cycle between different licenses, so you can filter between the different types. And then you have your familiar search features here. The second to last section here is policy. Here we have our organization and any teams that are associated with that organization. And this is where we can write policies. Policies in AppSheet are very powerful. Is there a way for you as the admin to create security rule sets that will ensure that your app creators are following 
your teams or your organization's security policies. And policies are additive, so they can be created at an organization level and apply to the whole organization, or individual teams can also set their policies. But those team policies can never override the organization policy. Let's say, for example, I wanted to create a policy. I could click on the org section here, and then click the, the add organization policy button. And I could use one of the several predefined templates that are available. There are policies that range from the ability to disable sections of AppSheet, like chat apps, forms events, web hooks, even preventing road deletions. And then there is also the ability to restrict app sharing or restrict data sources from being used. And these are all just examples of different template policies that are available for admins to use for their organization. Important ones like the ability to restrict external app sharing or restrict providers that are attachable to apps will go a long way to ensuring that your organization stays secure. So let's say I want to restrict app sharing externally. I could use one of the policy templates here to choose the template restrict external app sharing. When I hit next, I'm taken to another window where we have the policy drafted on the left side. And then on the right side, we have a preview of the effects of that policy. In this situation, when I restrict external app sharing, I will effectively shut down 44 applications that would be currently violating that policy if I put it into effect. This will prevent you from having unintended surprises. Now, policies don't have to be so severe. As with any policy that you draft, there are additional conditions that you can set, and we have these conditions documented. So I encourage you all to get out there and you can access the admin console as shown just by going to appsheet.com and clicking your account icon in the top right corner. The direct link here is appsheet.com slash admin slash console slash overview. And then we have our community and help and our documentation below. Thanks for watching and happy app building.